Well, there it is. Hi, guys. Welcome to a strategy game. We're going to play four versus four random team in a moment. And I am doing Matt Picard's strategy. He says, read this out like Gandalf from Lord of the Rings or some other old wizard. I'll try. Uh, hey, witty. I have a strategy for you. Summon Slam. Race is human. Archmage with water elementals first. Then Brilliance Aura. Fire, Fire Lord second with lava spawns and soul burn. He sounds easy so far? Well, it's not. Blood Mage third with Flame Strike for some area of effect and Siphon Mana. It's starting to sound like my Pirate Santa, actually. A little bit, little, little bits there. The goal of this strategy is to get the Blood Mage level 6 and the final Phoenix Summon. So free level 6 heroes and mass summons. Pick any units that you like. And go about it in any way that you like. I think I got better at the exit towards the end, but you guys can let me know. Alright, so enjoy the game. Welcome to Deadlock. This is the map we will be playing on for this strategy. And I'm going to be starting off, as you can see, get my altar. Because we've got to go for three heroes here, so we do need an altar. That's going to begin the the hero set up at least. I reckon some footmen would be nice. You might hear uh, a budgie in the background. There's two of them. One's more quiet than the other. Uh, but the yellow one, which we've given them names now, goes by the name of Billy. And the blue one, he goes by the name... That's the yellow one. The blue one goes by the name of Bobby. So it's Billy and Bobby. And uh, Billy and Bobby will be joining me for this game. And uh, giving me some commentary on top of the commentary that I'm giving you. So they'll probably do a better job of it. But, you know, I do what I can and hopefully entertain you as well. So an expansion seems quite likely here. Pretty easy to set up. Footmen are cheap and reliable for the early stages of the game for getting creeping done. Particularly if you get yourself an arcane vault. Which will then help it, you know go for a scroll of regeneration which can be used to regenerate 225 health for all of your nearby units so if you try to split the damage taken by your footman as best as possible then you're gonna get some good value out of that right then I think another farm after this eh lad yeah you can build there in a second there we go so we got four five six peasants we're working with a night elf undead and an undead ah oh, it's not too bad yeah not too bad all right more footmen when we can they're the bulk of our early army so we'll keep them building and then fit in some peasants where we can so i'm going to exit just so they know. You can start off with a, like a light green camp with the Archmage and uh, Water Elemental. Help him. Well, I'll probably be okay. So you can start off with getting one Water Elemental out. This strategy is all about summons, as we know. So I do want to get a tech going as well at the same time, because the tech will also enable me to get my heroes. But you want to get that expansion as well at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this summon over to the expansion whilst my footmen are finishing that off. Come over here. Take these guys. Move back over here. Come into militia form. Keep the footmen building. And then I'll have another summon in a second. Because that what summon's got plenty of time. So he can still tank. Right then. Send you guys into the back. Pull the next summon in so I can take some more damage. Speaking of that arcane vault, get that going. Ideally, you want the summon to take the damage, but it's not too bad if militia take damage, providing that there's no blade master nearby or something. Because the militia, most of the time, will be ignored by enemy players if no one scouts this. So they're just there to take damage for free, in a sense. Right. Water elemental, footman, off we go for more creeping. A tech will be coming up shortly after the expansion is started, which we have just about enough resources for. Yeah? Okay. So we want to keep creeping to try to get the gold in. I've got five peons back at base, which should be enough. Don't want to use your water until just yet, because these guys have purge, which can basically do, like, 
loads of damage versus summon units, so ideally get rid of them first before you go. There you go. He's used a purge, so he will have that on cooldown. So as long as you kill him before it becomes on cooldown again. Uh, I might treat myself to another peasant whilst I haven't got the resources. So one or two more peasants. Use the replenishment. Get the centaur, because he's an awesome character. Basically a stronger, faster footman, but costs free food. But he's still solid for the early game. There's not really much difficult creeping to be done on this map, though, so I wouldn't worry too much about going too heavy on units. Hey, you two, stop buying each other's tails. <laughs> it's a little... <laughs> it's because the tail's in the way. Get your tail out the way! Okay, so we can always get some peasants out of here. And then I want to get that tech going, because obviously the faster I can get my heroes, the better, and I can distribute the uh, damage taken, or the experience, rather between them. Level 2 water mental means I can be aggressive against another player if need be. Looks like he's trying to be aggressive over there. Roger. Right, can we get the tech? Let's go. I've got gold now. I just want the tech. Right, let's get a lumber mill. Let's come over and be aggressive versus blue whilst he's forcing me. Actually, he's probably likely gone for a fast expansion, being a dreadlord. So, with that in mind, I will check here, and there we go. What you doing? What you doing? Little budgie wars going on over here. So he's worried about his expansion, but I'm hitting. <laughs> I'll try my best to concentrate on this guy. They're okay, they're okay. They're just having a little brother's quarrel. They're two brothers, basically. He's got himself surrounded after using the town portal. That's not good. What? What? <laughs> Uh, this is the thing where I'm stubborn and I don't like to build more footmen. I'll actually distribute some gold here because I don't really want any more footmen. I've got enough, but I've got gold that I don't really need yet. But it's going to go on heroes and... Mm, it's tricky. It's tricky sorting it out. I do this thing all the time before Fergus 4RT. I hoard gold like a maniac. But if I'm giving it to other allies, they you know can utilize that gold and useful here. Blue's really committed to this, isn't he? We kind of want to kill these ghouls if we can. Can't TP over here yet. I think I'll just be aggressive versus blue and buy some time or something. I've got loads of resources. It's sick. When you get yourself a fast expansion, it's kind of crazy how much gold you get. But I need to start teching up, man. I need to get this tech going. Here we go. So I'm going to just immediately tech after that. Water Mental is going to tank the front. We're going to go for... Wait, what was the second hero? Fire Lord. That means I need to go find a tavern. Whoops, should have done that earlier. Or we can go over here. Right. And I think Griffins would probably be the easiest. Or Dragonhawk. Dragons and... Uh, Dragons and... Dragonhawks. Griffins and Dragonhawks would be lovely here. They would complement both my summons and my heroes. And just... The power plays, as well as look awesome with the Phoenix. So, Fire Lord. I'm willing to lose a lot of units here, just so I can keep getting experience. Uh, I'm going to use this Footman to check again for expansions. Because he's kind of expendable. We've got three opponents over here. Probably just a TP job, but TP up to like red or something. Far away. I'll nab the 300 only because it's capped at 300. Um, can you use it? I'm sure you could use that from there. 
That's some classic Warcraft free pathing. Um, okay, so I've got so much gold again. I'm just going to distribute it out to my allies because I really just don't need that much of it. I'm concentrating on my heroes here, which in the grand scheme of things are relatively cheap. You know? Especially when they're summon heroes as well. They provide a bit of an army as well. So you don't particularly need that many units. So again, just going for power play units. Dragonhawks. Griffins. Just really make that impact. That's right. You two calm down now. I think they're more curious. They start... They win. I spoke too soon. He's a bit of a nutter, that yellow one. You're a bit of a nutter, aren't you? Hopefully he'll calm down with time. He's had a taste of flying, that's the problem. Ain't you? You've had a taste. You've had a taste for it. And now he wants more. Just check your summons and make sure none of them are going to run out before you get the kill. Alright, so... Blood Mage... Uh, upgrades... Because we can afford all of it, basically. And I've still got way too much gold. Way too much. This is like practicing. What can I spend my gold on then? Mass Footman is kind of... What? what? You're going to be an absolute nutter all the way through this, aren't you? They're going to need those dryers, aren't they, to try to abolish all of my summons. And he's trying. So he gets through them quite quickly. But not this one. Boom! He's moving into more. And we're going to overwhelm them regardless. Even though they're trying to create counters for this. Oh my, you are budgies. Crazy budgies. Well, at least it's entertaining, eh? If a little concerning. Oh, why am I TKing? Yeah, the game looks a little bit one-sided, unfortunately. So we'll definitely give this another go. We've had some practice. So Archmage, Fire Lord, Blood Mage, Flame Strike. Tons of gold, not so much wood. So if I do go for an expansion at the same time, I still need more than ugh, 11 peasants. This happens so much. This this is why it's kind of a meme now at this stage for me saying wood please or wanting more wood in Warcraft 3. This, I had 11 peasants. 11 peasants and I'm still low on wood. Ridiculous. Hmm, found a game. Oh, wow. Hello, welcome back. Marcus Square is going to be our map here. I've got two walks and an undead on the team. Alrighty, so... Since wood was so much of a problem in the previous game, I'm going to go for a lumber mill at the start, honestly. I'm just going to go for a lumber mill right at the start, and I'm going to expand. Ready to work. I'm sure we'll be fine. No one cares. Why do you always get these people sort of like act like children or something? It's really bizarre. Don't do nothing. Ah, uh, feed me or I TK. Okay, looks like we got a team killer. So that kind of spoils this map, which is really annoying. So, blue, orc, and orc. So, hopefully, these two are capable players. So, we can make up for the uh, redundancy from purple. I could get enough peasants and just TP in and destroy his base. Because I'm worried about him building up and then TKing later on. So, I'd rather just kill him now whilst he's not a threat. Take the base. Okay, so. Altar, Archmage, good stuff. The build is a little bit slower this time, but I don't think it's going to affect things too much. So, all should be good. Let's have a look. Another farm will do it as well. Let's get in there, get in there. We've already got ourselves up to seven peasants. Eight in a moment. Footman can start coming out. It's not too hard to get an expand, though. No. You don't need too many footmen. Again, I had that issue, didn't I, before? I think I will just have to mass some footmen. Okay, he's TKing, but he's doing it in the best way possible. Where he's just getting rid of himself. So I don't even have to waste my time doing it. 
have a look. More farms, I guess. More peasants. We're going to need some expansions here. Definitely going to need some expansions. Maybe one or two to make up for this guy. So early, early expansion. Ah, bugger. What a spoil of a map. It was green that left. And that guy's obviously TKing by cancelling the buildings. Okay. Such a waste of a good map. That really, really does annoy me when you get Market Square. It's, it's a golden map. It's a golden map, basically. It's like someone giving you... I don't know, in Hearthstone, a golden legendary is that much more special than the other cards. It's that much more special. You don't get Market Square all that often, and when it comes up, there's so much more fun stuff you can do in it. And you just have to pray that there's not an idiot. And unfortunately, 4 versus 4 RT these days, which makes it harder for me to make these videos for you, these strategy videos. One, it takes longer to find games, and two, the chance that everyone's going to stay in the game and not leave at the start or do something stupid like that guy. Unfortunately, the chance of that, you know, the people having people like that is higher than it needs to be. And it makes it harder for me to make these videos. So, And unfortunately, I don't mind that happening because I expect it to happen. When I think, I'll record some Warcraft 3 videos for the YouTube channel so people can enjoy and watch those. I know this is going to happen. I just wish it didn't happen on this map. Uh, well, Deadlands is our map. Unfortunately, we've got the same TK again. So, I'm going to try to TK him. I've got to get Footman as well early. Right. He's taken up already. I think someone's bloody giving him gold. But I don't think he deserves it. I'm going to TK him. Don't encourage that behavior. I'm going to TK that guy. I'm not going to let him play. I don't care if someone else is giving him gold and that's going to affect that other player. Or it's going to affect these two players by me TKing him. He's not to be trusted. You can't support that kind of behavior. You want to shut that down. It's a bit like a map hacker. So as soon as my hero comes out, I'm just teleporting on him and killing him. Unfortunately, this guy's scouting, so he's going to see the TK. I don't like that. Best three, unfortunately. Hopefully, the pink guy moves on, and then I can TP. Well, uh, like I say, I, it's it's uh, it's not up to me. You got what you got, ally-wise. I need to maybe leave it like a few minutes or something like that before searching for another game. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep getting the same guy. So, if it was up to me, I would have allies that were on the same level or at least similar enough to say, yeah, okay, we'll continue this as a 3 versus 4. They won't, 
because they don't know what that guy is like. So we'll just go through the game. That guy will do something stupid. Or, you know, team kill by sending a bunch of units to the enemy. Well, what do you need? What is it? Yes, my lead. I'm waiting for him to get bored and move on. Because as soon as I leave, he's going to leave and search for another game. You just know that's going to happen. Because he has no purpose to be in here other than just to uh, basically TK. Yeah, I would un summon everything as well. Do it. Till there's nothing left. I think I may as well just try to move into another game, because. Yeah. What can you do? There's no point sitting in there any longer. Alright. Thankfully, enough time has passed that we can move into a game that doesn't have a complete moron in it. Well, he says. He hopes. It comes back round to deadlock. So, let's see if I can redeem myself. Barracks. We're going to go for the earlier build here. And also probably fit the lumber mill in there as well. Maybe. I'll see whether the lumber mill is worth it. There we go. Right. So you'll also be a farm as well if you can, can't you? That's right. You can also be a farm. So let's go over. Let's go into the gold mine here, actually. Because I should have put you in the gold mine anyway. Right. We got undead, human, human, and human. A lot of human. Human seems to be the popular flavor at the moment, at least for this game on our team. Let's have a look. Farm. All right, we can move into maybe lumber mill over here because that's nice and all the way over here. So let's see how you're going. See how you're doing. Barracks has got to go up though, which means footmen have got to be produced. But I don't need too many footmen. I just don't. I just don't need them. Not really. Not that many. They're okay. Militia are strong enough to get the job done. So make sure you're always getting militia in this case. And obviously a farm as well to keep the production rate going. Boom. So farm, peasants. So the barracks isn't too necessary early on. It just isn't. I don't think I can find much of a use for it. I'd rather just keep getting the peasants so I've definitely got enough wood. And I want to tech up earlier this time than I did beforehand. So I'm almost tempted to go four peasants on the gold mine or something. Just so I can really get hammer in as much uh, wood as possible. I can go back to five in a moment once I go for my expansion, but just whilst I'm doing this. Guess I'll squeeze another footman in there now. Right. You guys are looking very good. Yeah, plenty of peasants. Get the water elemental out. So all you do is select your archmage, go O and W. So that selects your water elemental, and that gets all of that on board. So you can see everyone's here, ready to move into an expansion. And I'm still getting peasants and peasants and peasants and peasants. Let's go for this expansion then, shall we? There we go. Get the summon next to that as well. And more and more peasants. Peasants everywhere. There's slightly too many in the gold mine, though. So it helps if you re-rally from the town hall onto somewhere that isn't the gold mine. Don't need the arcane vault this time. Although my footmen have taken a fair chunk of damage. But they're totally expendable. They really are. So I don't even think they deserve the arcane vault that's going to slow them down. Right. So you guys are going to have enough. I'm going to have enough wood whilst I'm teching up in a moment when that next peasant comes out. You can see how much more difference the balance is between my wood and um, gold. So that goes up. That starts getting built. What we can do is just stop this for a second. Let the gold flow. Tech. And then go back onto it. Because otherwise, if you have that going, it drags your resources. Not They still go up, but very, very slowly. Very small increments. Trying 
try to get the water mental to actually tank something. Okay, so more footmen, I guess, because I'm still going to have too much gold like I did last time, so I may as well get them. I don't like having too much of a lobby unit, though. I might wait until I've got enough gold for boots of speed as well, because boots of Boost of speed is pretty much always good. Right, expansion complete. Boost of speed. On to the next camp. In fact, one each could go and just check the expansions. And I think maybe just start producing some more peasants. <laughs> just keep going. Peasants, peasants, peasants. As ridiculous as it is, I've got enough, really. But you never know, do you? Okay, so no sneaky expansions by the looks of it. So that's what scouting can do for you. I highly suggest it. It's very overpowered already. We just got information there. That's very crucial. Also, more peasants. I can come over to here and buy that centaur. That would help to be a footman because I'm. I don't want to. What is this? It's like, just like I just don't want to build more footmen. I do this all the time in all these kind of games, even competitive one versus one games. Just not interested in your footmen. Someone else was creeping this, was they? What the hell happened here? That will do. My units are weak. But green is here to join and have some fun. Right, we got that lumber mill up. No excuses. Tech is almost done this time. I need to send a unit over here to get the Fire Lord. Ooh, two of them are over here, so let's see if we can enjoy going for an expansion that might be exposed before they catch up with us. Tech right up. Oh, there is no expansion. Okay, so we're going to move somewhere else then instead. You go right, I go left. Fire Lord. Come over to the shop. Purchase an item with that bad boy. There we go. I'll get dust just in case I need it for whatever reason. There we go. So practice makes perfect, eh? Hey? Lightning Shield is so good. Honestly. Really, really, really good. And I could be spending on resources. Oh. Killing my expansion, are we? I'll come back to my expansion in a moment. I may as well get experience from this. And then deal with you. And then I can rebuild up my expansion. That's not a problem. You're certainly not going to kill it. So we'll take the experience. Okay, now we got some Griffin Averys. Because we know what we want to build. The chase is on. Pretty much only got summon units now. Those footmen truly were expendable. Okay, one more Griffin Avery because I reckon I can. I'm going to pull three of you off and come over here. And I'm going to go one onto there, one to that. Keep getting upgrades. Keep building up the dra dragons. Okay. Increase the wood. You know it's good. Oh. Good boy. Well, I think so. That was super sweet. They were regurgitating into each other's mouse. It's something budgies do. I know the brothers and all that, but it's something they do. It's not like they don't have the same hang ups we do in a sense. Wow, I think that's the first time I've seen them do that. Actually, looks like they're French kissing. <laughs> Oh dear. Well, at least they're getting along now this time instead of fighting. Normally they would be like trying to peck towards each other. Job's done. Job's done. Okay. Well, they're communicating. They're getting along. That's good. 
I'm super distracted by what they're doing at the moment. Okay, so get some griffins, get some tech, get some research, more griffins, happy days. I would love actually an orb of corruption to be honest with you. I think that'd be awesome. This guy's gonna spawn up. Spawn up a tree. Well, that reminds me, I need to get Blood Mage. Yeah, I'm just overstaying my welcome. That's fine. I'm going to lose both my heroes, but I can just buy them quickly enough. It's not a problem. Okay, I'm getting super mega distracted by all the loud noises that are going on at the moment. I've got the dump truck thing outside, which has the super squeaky... That. Got that going on. Got the budgies regurgitating, doing something I've never seen them do That's yet because they're babies. Uh, it's all sorts of weird stuff going on. Right. Let's see if anyone actually has got some wood. Because once again, we've fallen into the low pits of wood. Yes, our heroes. We can go on the hunt. Blood Mage is out now. The strange thing is, is I've got to get level 6. I don't think this is possible, this strategy, unless we get like a massive map. And I need to just straight tech, because I forgot about the one condition that makes this like near impossible. Is the Blood Mage, right, needs to get level 6. Well, not only do I have three heroes that are competing for experience. He's the last hero to come out, so he's going to be level 1. So it wouldn't it make more sense to get the Blood Mage first? Because I just don't think it's realistic. It's not that I can't do it. It's whether the game time allows me to be able to do it. That's what it is. Will the game time allow me to have three heroes and get a Blood Mage, the last hero, at level one right now? Roughly about, I don't know, 10, 12 minutes into the game? So the Blood Mage basically needs to stand here and get the kills whilst these two heroes stand back. And then the same principle over here. So kill what you can there. And then Blood Mage comes over here. These two hang back. I still need to go actually buy a town portal and stuff. So back over here, then when they come and fight, I'll get the summons to work with the Blood Mage, whilst these two are doing what they're doing. Getting attacked over there, I guess I need to town portal there. Gonna get ganked by Blue in a moment. Not long after, so just keep moving to the right and hopefully don't have to use TP, but he's got Frostworm, so probably a TP job. Now we've got Red over here, so yeah, just TP out. You're not going to get much more done here other than just getting ganked over and over. There's still some experience to be had for this Blood Mage, but I don't know, man. Is it going to be enough? For my people, the Seth of Alana. You can count on me. Well, 
So it might be doable. I've just got to distribute resources as best as possible. So my Archmage in that almost have to go AFK. I'm going to send my Blood Mage up to the top. Damn, where you guys are going. And just have my Archmage and my Fire Lord ready to maybe Town Portal and protect someone else. Someone else's base. Whilst my Blood Mage is trying to move up with my units and get the experience also that they need my summons there. So this I can kill. I'm going to share the experience with that guy. I'm having to concentrate so much on what I'm sharing with and what I'm not sharing with. But it's still good experience nonetheless. Should nab it. So I'll keep my other two heroes somewhat nearby. Ideally the Blood Mage needs to be by himself though. And I'll follow Pink with my other two heroes. See if there's an expansion to be killed. Ah, well, that's not an expansion. They're going for so many gyrocopters, that's kind of crazy. Right, I might need to team up my heroes now. going on over here. Orange is having some fun. they got a lot of gyros though, which could be great experience later on. Going to head up to yellow, because most of them are going to be on the left hand side to see again if there's any units I can pick on for experience. Did someone say orb of corruption? Oh, it's taken. I can't remember if towers give experience or not. I know that Night Elf Ancient Protectors do, I think. TP, I think, just to save what griffins I have, whilst I'm still building up the tanks. Are you still asking for wood? I've actually given out quite a lot of wood this game. Okay, 
Don't have a good answer for that. Anyone want to help? Because I'm the guy that's able to make tanks. But, mm. It looks bad. It looks bad. We're too busy having an attack over here, so they basically want to sacrifice the guy that's building the anti-air. Well, that guy is as well, but I guess my... I'm going to go. No blood mage though. No experience for blood mage. Can't do much. I'm stuck. I got no TP. And they're TPing in now when everything is dead. Orange is I got shafted on this one. It seems to go that way for me a lot though, doesn't it? I don't know why. My base almost always seems to be the one that gets killed first. I could have town portaled into the back of my base, but I'm still fucked. I bet they still wouldn't have tried to help until they helped then, so I still would have been dead. Feels bad, man. Got to wait ages for my heroes. I'll try to get them out from the taverns, but I'm not the richest fellow since they killed one of my expansions and I haven't got enough peasants to distribute over onto another expansion yet. I've given out so much wood, actually. I'm going to ask for some of it back because I'll have to build another lumber mill as well. There goes my gold. Farms, eh? Cheeky sod. Looks like the game is set and done. Yeah, I don't think there was a way to get out of this game. Unless I had a good fight there and got lots of experience with my Blood Mage only. Only then could I get level 6, I think. But you can't do it realistically, I don't think. Unless everything in the game... And this game's gone on longer. Way longer than the average 4 versus 4 RT game would go. So you have to go Blood Mage first. You can't not go Blood Mage first. Unless you just get lucky and have the game go on forever. Which, again, isn't really a skill thing. It's just a luck-based thing. So there's no skill to it. Slowly but surely, they'll all pop out. Oh, 
Send in the tanks. Hello. We'll have to look at that budgie thing. Is it okay if brothers regurgitate to each other? I know that the mum obviously regurgitates to the son. That's the first bit of bonding I've seen them do. That's why I'm quite excited. Because normally, these two budgies, they like their own sort of space. If they get too close to one another, they get a very aggro. And the yellow one, Billy, tries to guard the seed bowl. So we put two seed bowls in there, and now he guards both of them. So the blue one tries to go for it, Bobby. Then he tries to stop him a lot of the time. And then to see them actually sharing seed like that, when he spent all of his time beforehand stopping the blue one from having seed or trying to stop him, doesn't always succeed, and the blue one does get seed in. But, you know, it's very cute. All right, I'll try this one more time. It's going to be an epic video, so hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Make sure to thumbs up if you haven't done so already by this point. What are you doing? Have you watched the video this long and cl haven't clicked the thumbs up button or shared this? ridiculous share as well and uh yeah subscribe thank you i'll try to go blood mage first and uh get him his level six blood mage first though blood mage first what? What is it? like asap blood mage get him super fast and this map you kind of do actually have to go to barracks fairly early as well because it's not easy to creep much on this map without units, so unlike other maps, you can kind of get away with going without units, which is what obviously I enjoy to do a lot of the time. <laughs> it's just like, hey, I'll just not build units. Nah, you probably want to build some units. Death Nail is very unforgiving. Although, to be fair, you don't have to get many, you just have to get enough to do the initial creep camps. Um... Because once you open up the mercenary creep camp, you can obviously buy a lot of the mercs, and they're they're all good at the mercenary creep camp. They're actually all good. You'll be you'll be fine just to buy all of them, to be honest, and not get another footman. So got purple over here. Okay, so purple undead, pink orc, teal human. Let's see how we go. Oh, not Archmage. <laughs> the Archmage first is kind of helpful because of the um, Brilliance Aura, but as we've seen, unless I get lucky and the game goes on for like 35 minutes, which is no guarantee, we want to get that Blood Mage teched up and leveled up ASAP. Otherwise, what are you doing? We can get a Shredder on this map, though, which is going to be a lifesaver. So the Shredder's on the left-hand side. I'll try to get it. Blood Mage is going to pop out, whether to creep that or not. There's not much you can creep, though, without using level 1 Flame Strike a couple of times. I think that's fine in this circumstance. I'm going to get myself an Arcane Vault so I can heal up afterwards. We discussed it wasn't really that great earlier on, but I think on a map like this, I'm going to probably need it. Get a couple of militia to help me as well. Hopefully a couple of footmen will be enough, so I don't have to overcommit. Just keep getting uh, militia. So we can come over here. Probably take six militia, I would say, for our journey. Maybe seven, actually, just to be safe, because it's a nasty creek camp. And the more I can take, the more I can distribute damage onto them and not my footmen, which are already injured. Yes, 
That's fine. It really doesn't matter too much. Don't want to lose too much, but at the same time, I don't mind losing a few just to get this done. The assassins are nasty because they reapply their poison, and if you've got a unit on like one health, they'll insta kill it. So I was trying to make sure I didn't lose too much there. Right then, lads. Let's go with that. Let's just chop the trees for now so I can get a tech in a second and then bring you guys back onto this. So there'll be enough woods, there'll be another peasant, there'll be a tech. And now over here, before you hand in, we can do that and then shift E. So once you've finished, you hand in the wood and go over to the gold mine. But we can take this one, build one tower there, come over here and hey presto. So what does this leave us with? Oi, what are you doing lads? You need to finish that first before you hand in, remember? You haven't finished actually building that, so do that first, yeah? Alright, we're going to pop over here. We're not going to aggro the creek camp yet, although the shredder's tempting, isn't it? Keep an eye and see if anyone buys the shredder, otherwise I've got to... With just this, I haven't got enough to creek this camp. Although, banish... Actually, almost. I just need to be able to buy a couple of units. So, wait for enough gold. You're coming down, that's fine. Arcane tower, just to be safe. Let's see if these guys obey my message which is to hand the wood in and then go to the gold mine. Uh, kind of. One of them didn't do it, though, for some reason, but the other four did. Right, so let's come over here. Let's go like this. Do, 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 boop, boop. So what you can do is you can ensnare the big guy when he comes out of Banish, because he's melee, and that stops him from being able to reach your units, provided you keep your distance from him. Right, that's all underway. So now we start working towards the tech, which is going to boost up the power. Yeah, let's go lumber over here. Of everything. Also, that's a lovely item, Malaria's Fleet of Accuracy. Look, level 3 Blood Mage already. Sweet. And we don't need those mercs yet, but surely at some point might be able to make a use out of them. Let's pull you over here. Let's go like that. Let's come back over here. Let's come over here. Shredder has not been taken yet. The Shredder is available. Yeah. Shredder's available. That's good news. Everyone's happy about that, yeah? Alright, let's take a look. Let's take a look at said Shredder. So the tech is almost done already. And I've not got enough wood to set off the next tech. So I better get my hero coming out. Hmm. Archmage, and then Fire Lord Third. I'm going to need enough wood for the Shredder anyway, and then as soon as he comes back, I'll try to get the wood in for a tech to tier three. Although you could just arguably just wait at tier one. I'll explain a little bit in a moment. No, I mean go up to tier three with just the one hero, sorry. That's right, birdies. Right, we'll get a Shredder now. He can help. Right, you come over, hand in all that you got, hopefully it's enough. It's not enough. <laughs> I want to get those uh, techs going. I got a troll trapper actually, so he's very useful. Right, we can tech now. And I want to get my um, blacksmiths doing something as well. Where's my troll trapper? You're always at the back, aren't you? No, he's so far at the back, he can't actually get the um, ensnare. He can here, though. I'm going to go for Flame Strike on that and see if I can get away with it. Then I'm going to upgrade potential Griffins. Yeah, Flame Strike did actually get to do a lot of damage there, and he'll probably come back onto the gold mine, and hopefully I can get another whack. And we've got blue underneath us, which is an enemy. We could actually Flame Strike this bad boy. Try not to block purple too much. Okay, let's come back round. Let's do a loop the loop. 
Let's go for Dragon Hawks. Uh, I was hoping he wouldn't mana burn that guy because he's the one with the um ah oh, well just may as well use banish now. I was waiting for another flame strike. Just run. There's not much to gain from staying in this fight. Continue the researches, run back. Expansion looks fine. You could get more mercs, but obviously we're going to be going into some heavy griffins later on. Uh, yeah, just come back over here. Tech is almost done, so try to move the Ice Troll Berserker over here. Hope it doesn't get killed. Pick up the Fire Lord. Continue your research, which drags obviously all the resources down, wood-wise at least. Looks good though, otherwise. Happy with that. Happy indeed. I wanted to go for like four Griffin Averys, but that really is overkill. I don't have two expansions like I had in the Deadlock map. Right, start getting our researches. This is the Shredder Man is so good. Look at that wood. Cannot argue with that. Cannot argue with that, man. We'll get him in a better path as well. Rather than coming all the way down here, that's inefficient. Right. Let's go. Actually, more town portals is always good, to be honest. So, come back over here. If you press U and left click on the hero, that basically selects the hero to allow you to purchase items for them. So the birds like that trick. Research complete. So before we go past the 50 food, you know what needs to be done. We need to try to research everything, be as greedy as possible. Purple's enjoying the little combat zone between orange. That's nice. Alright then lads, let's go for that. And then go for this very shortly afterwards. That should probably be enough. Yep. So we can get like our griffins and that fully upgraded before we've even got any griffins. Whee! Don't really want to lose the lava spawn yet. We need that boy to do his work. Well, time to get back, I guess. Well, do you see something? Right then, let's get a couple of griffins to begin with. Bear in mind they've got mass archers and stuff, so griffins might not be the best option here. But you know, you do what you gotta do. He probably wanted to get the thing. I'll use healing for him. Don't know if he wanted to get the staff or not. Look at these griffins though. The Averys. The research is looking good. I'm very happy with that. Right. I can go for mass griffins in a moment. It's heating up to that point where we need to do it. So, 2,400 gold. He's got all the corruption over here. I'll take that if you're if you're offering it. Oh, I think he just tried to buy it himself. I'm not sure. Right, let's just go for it. It's time to start massing those units because they're fully upgraded. So, free, free griffins before we've even really got many of them. That's unusual for me. Very unusual. We're going to have a strong attack here. It's a shame that's not a laboratory because we could send some sappers to bring that down. But 
Let's do some damage quickly before they react. Look at that. He wants to get uh, Webb. You can sense that much from him. Got to be careful though, because if they have people Town Portal in, this will make it like a two versus three or more. So, got to be careful of the situation there. Try to read it as best as possible. I can't see what's teleporting in. You get down over there, and then I can get some information. Ah, oh, I almost got the stuff. There's the first teleport. Unless we go heavy on the Tauren, and I'll get the Banish. Oi, oi, stop fighting. You can hear the little squeaks. Okay. Well, that was alright. We weren't forced to TP or anything. I'm going to try to sneak around if I can. Ah, uh, nah, probably not going to happen. I would like to try to sneak around, because they'd obviously want to come and attack us with that. At least I got Brilliant Sora now. At least I got that going for me. I want to do some damage before my allies get there and stuff like that so I can get more experience from a blood mage. That's what I'm trying to do. Soak up the experience for myself, man. Nah, that's webbed. I'm gonna go on the Death Knight. Because he's super vulnerable. Can't send any units back because they're all bloody webbed. I think this is all of them, by the way. So we might want to get back. <laughs> it's just like a casual, should we get back or not? I'm not sure we should get back. I think we should get back, really, but I don't mind staying in the fight. I've always liked staying in the fight, but that is basically all of them. We really should back now. Never one to really back down from a fight. Oh no, I'm not level 6 yet. Don't leave yet. They're going to want to buy a TP and get up there or go for a counter-attack. I want to go to someone's base to get some experience, aka here. But I need to walk past these units and then I can town portal back. Why is that not working? Okay. <laughs> noises. So many distractions. Why did that not work? Did he get stunned or something? I didn't see anything that could stun. I'm pretty sure I used my F1 and then clicked on the Fire Lord, but okay. Didn't want to be sent back. Wait. Yay. I'm sending my other heroes back now. I just want my Blood Mage forward. Just in the fake hope. I say other heroes. I've only got one other hero. I'll let the other one die. Pink's going to lose a lot here. This isn't a great fight for us, but it's a great fight for my Blood Mage to soak experience. As long as he stays back. Archmage be gone. Come on, you're almost there, man. He's actually almost there. Just don't leave yet. Hang in there. Oh, good. No, no, no. Those are allied. All right. Let's go forth. Strike forth. I actually got a kill on those um, frosties that I was ensnaring earlier. It's pretty awesome. Where must we fly? 
I am here. Right. Blood Mage is moving in aggressive. Oh, I keep one of the TK these units that I keep seeing popping around. Chip chip. Oh, yes. That looks like level 6 to me. Come here. Yes! The Phoenix Rises! Am I going to get killed now? I have to TP. I don't want to TP. I'm probably just as well though. Blue's going nuts at me. Okay. I'm so happy I just got the uh, the Blood Mage to level 6. That's all that matters now. The game is actually still going. So there's still the possibility of it. Oh, that's a lot of wood. Should have dished some of that out. Shouldn't I? Yeah. Yeah, I should have. I mean, I haven't shown the budget. You can't really see them very easily. They're at the back. Nearest the left hand side. One's on the seed bowl. I can't really get the webcam any closer because the wire won't let me. And I can't zoom in. So. <laughs> That's your lot. Okay. I think they're realizing that the impending doom is upon them, although they might still have one salty player that hangs in there to the bitter end. But look at the Phoenix. You're both guarding a seed bowl each, aren't you? It's one seed bowl each for these two. It's, it's like Castle Wars or something. Castle fight. Except they're guarding a seed bowl instead of a castle. And they're sending like random chirps and slightly passive aggressive pecks at one another. Gentle pecks, but nonetheless. Pecks, nonetheless. Don't mess with the pecks. He's just chilling. Burn. There's the Phoenix. Let's see what it does above the Acolytes. We're just going to camp it on the top. Does it only spread that fire when it's moving? I think it, no, it's doing it all the time. You can see this little red flames come out of it. Oh no, the phoenix falls! But with the phoenix rises the fire. Well, that took some time to get there. But we did it. And I'm very happy. Level 6 Blood Mage. Just got to change the order around, really. If the game goes on for 30 minutes, yeah, you could probably get your third hero to level 6. It's doable. I've I've had three level 6 heroes before, but it's not realistic. And to build an entire strategy around it is pretty stressful because you can work your ass off, you can do the best you possibly can, but you might have that hero stuck at level 5, a bit like a pit lord. So, yeah, it can be stressful in that regard. So, I wanted to make sure I had the blood major level 6 and one way the easy way to do that is just get him first all right thank you very much everyone for watching again if you haven't liked make sure to do so thank you very much for liking the video and subscribing and if you want to help out you can always go over to patreon.com slash witty warcraft and that helps me to make these videos so thank you very much take care bye bye